Uh, when we first started here in 1988, the population of nesting females on that Mund Beach was about uh, 13 to 1400 individuals. And what happened was, right at that transition in the late 80s, early 90s, uh, the fishing practices in the Pacific switched from purse seining for some of the target species like tuna and, and, and billfish to long lining. And long lining is totally indiscriminate. Uh, you catch everything. Now what happens is when you kill an adult leatherback, you're killing a big portion of the population in terms of its reproductive potential. These are a long-lived species. It takes a thousand hatchlings to produce one adult. So every time you kill off an adult, you're killing off the future potential of the population and it's a very valuable commodity. Killing one hatchling isn't as tragic because a thousand to one, the odds were that that turtle was not going to make it anyhow. But in this case, the double punch of harvesting all the eggs, not allowing hatchling production and recruitment of new juveniles into the population, and then knocking off the adult females caused a very precipitous crash in the early 90s, such that now the maximum we've had in the last eight years uh, nesting on that beach is about 200 individuals. You've gone from 50, 1400 down to 200 down to this year where we have less than 39 or 40 and then probably will wind up only with about 50 turtles. So what you have is a more than 90 percent drop in the reproductive potential of that population. It's going to be difficult but turtles can um, recover from that in the future because they have a huge reproductive potential. Each female comes back every three years or so and lays 800 eggs. <clears throat> so there's a potential to recover from this crash. Things. Save the beach where they're reproducing, protect the hatchlings so they get to the water, and then protect the adults for as long as possible so that they can reproduce as much as they can to restore the population to levels that we had prior to then.